Hi lovelies, in today's video I just want to do a get ready with me using some of the items that I recommended in my Sephora sale recommendations video. So in this video I create this makeup look using items that I did recommend. So if you would like to see how I created this look using those products that are my diehards and would recommend you purchasing from the Sephora sale, just keep watching. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Ange and I really appreciate you being here. And to all my regular followers, thank you so much. I appreciate you tuning in, watching, supporting. I love you so very, very much. And you get me through some of those tough days and I really appreciate it. On my channel, I like to share all things beauty and lifestyle. It's taking a little bit of a, a detour at the moment, but the main focus of this channel is makeup and skincare and just things that I think are um, enjoyable to us over 50 mature women. So I recently, a couple of days ago, did my Sephora recommendations video. It was uh, a little bit late coming to the party, but the sale is still on. And in this video, I create this makeup look using some of those items that I recommended. So without further ado, let's just get into the makeup. So I'm going to apply my makeup without my wig on only because I don't want to get makeup all through it. So starting with the Tarcha Silk Canvas Primer. I have liked this primer for a very long time. Okay, the foundation, I have two favourite foundations that um, I would recommend in the Sephora sale and that is the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection and because of the price and the fact that I really really love the Lemur foundation I would definitely recommend that in the Sephora sale. So I'm just going to squirt a little bit of that and I'm hoping this is going to suit me. I haven't worn a lot of makeup in a hot minute and this is in LM light medium 10. The only time I'm wearing makeup at the moment is when I'm filming videos and they are weeks apart. I have to pick the days that I feel okay to film. <laughs> okay so for a really runny lightweight foundation I just really love the finish on my skin this is probably going to have to be my go-to foundation uh, as I start wearing makeup again um, my skin's not playing ball at the moment it's very dehydrated from the chemotherapy and something light like this is going to be great I think going forward. What I might do is I'm going to go in with the Pat McGrath concealer, the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Concealer. It's in the same shade as the foundation LM10 and I'm just going to lightly dot that on some of my hyperpigmentation. Here we are fibre the mirror to me instead of leaning forward. I haven't been using my new face device since um, starting treatment. I've just been weary of anything other than really basic um, really basic skin care, not doing any tools to 
not doing a lot of tools and things just trying to play it safe that I'm not mucking around with my treatment now I'm blending this mm, don't like that with a brush let's go in with my sponge for concealer I am going to use the Kosas Concealer uh, Revealer in 04 Neutral for under my eyes. This is a really nice hydrating concealer and I forgot to use my Lunder Eye Primer but too bad. <laughs> but this is really hydrating and I'm finding that is what I prefer, especially at the moment from under my eyes. Everything's just sucked up from any de from any hydration at the moment. And my bags under my eyes, well not bags, but definitely got discoloration under my eyes. And this is where the brush might come in handy. It's definitely better for under the eyes than on the face. Do the warps of my finger. Now my favourite under eye setting powder has not changed and that's the Hourglass Ambient lighting powder in a diffused light. I have hit pan. I have had it for a long time though. My Morphe and Ariel brush. To set my foundation I'm going to use my favourite setting powder. I have tried others but this is just perfect for me. It is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. The shade I have mine in is Pound Cake and I just go in with my damp sponge and this is why I didn't want to wear a wig because I'm going to end up with makeup everywhere and I just Set my face. It's so finely milled, it's not cakey, it keeps any shine I have at bay and just really smooths my skin. I then like to go in with a fluffy powder brush just to brush off any excess powder and I'm using my Lemur powder brush and the sale is actually a really good time to pick things like this up that might be a luxury item that you've had your eye on. I must admit for myself I know a lot of people love this but I don't love it enough for the $80 that it is. Um, I would actually prefer to buy the Sephora Pro Featherweight Powder Brush. This is beautiful and soft and during the sale this is available to all tiers from the 1st of April through to the 11th for 30% off and I just think Sephora Collection Pro brushes are just awesome and every time we have a sale here in New Zealand I make sure to pick a couple up to add to my stash. For contour, my one of my favourite contour powders that I've had for a while and I would definitely repurchase when this runs out is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow and I'm just going to take a brush and I like to use this as a contour rather than a bronzer and I just tap that from the top of my ear towards my corner of my mouth but I only go as far as the outer edge of my eye then I'm just going to run it really lightly down 
sides of my nose. It's a really nice neutral shade. And if you ever think you're a little bit heavy handed, you can always just go in with your sponge and just share that out a bit. Now for bronzer and blush, I can't go past my hourglass palettes. I absolutely love these hourglass palettes. I haven't bought a lot of blushes lately because I am trying to use makeup I've got and blushes. I just don't tend to go through them. I love these palettes. I have a few on my wish list that I would love to pick up. I would really like the Patrick Tar blushes. Definitely want to try those out. And I would like to try the Westman Atelier um, stick blushes as well. Okay, I'm going to use the Lighting Edit Unlocked and I'm going to go for this warm shade here. I love these blushes, especially on mature skin because they're not dull and flat, but they're not sparkly and shiny, but they have a beautiful luminosity to them. And I just think they're really flattering on a mature skin. Now you can use these for blush, bronzer, highlighters, it's all in there. And I definitely did that back to front because I didn't do my bronzer. And so I'm going to take the bronzer up in the top corner here using my Sonia G brush. And just going around the perimeter of my face and just connecting that with the cheek area and just a little bit under there which I probably shouldn't because I've got so chunky that it was just going to blend everything in. My favourite highlighter probably of last year was the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Glow. I love this. Um, it replaced my Dior Luminizer that I loved forever. I just think this is... I like my highlighter and I just think this gives you the impact if you do like highlighter but it's a beautiful soft luminosity it's not not it's not chunky i think it really is good for a mature skin and i just really really love it now if i wanted to buff my face with powder, I do really like my Chantecaille Soft Blue Powder, but a Sephora powder that I like for buffing or going over my finished face makeup is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder No Powder. I have mine in the shade 02. And if you're wanting to just seamlessly buff your face this is a really good powder you can use it with a buffing brush like this or you can go in with a velvet puff and press that all over and it just helps to smooth your skin so that's the Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder No Powder and my favourite lip liners are the Huda Beauty Lip Contours and I'm going to take Sandy Beige and I love these because they're a wind up and you have a little pencil sharpener in the end if you want to sharpen the pencil to a tip. I don't tend to use that very often. I love how easy these are to
apply they stay on they're true to color they're not like the Natasha Denona ones the Natasha Denona ones are lovely to apply but for me I find they go gray and I don't know it's just obviously my my coloring but they all end up going gray and I don't like that and this was like the little puff I was talking about that I use for the powder no powder it's the makeup forever little powder velour puff that I have and I am just going to press that round where my skin is a little bit dehydrated and just try and smooth the poor areas there okay I am very grateful for my microbladed brows now it's been a couple of years nearly three years since I've had them done but I'd be lost <laughs> if I didn't have them because I only have about three or four hairs in each eyebrow at the moment but it's not looking too bad because of the microblading there my favorite brow pencil that I would recommend in the sale is the Huda Beauty Bomb Brows love love this pencil in my wish list to try I have got the Gucci pencil the Gucci sharpen wooden sharpen pencil and I would like to try the waterproof retractable as well and I'd like to try the Charlotte Tilbury brow cheat but what I have in hand and can recommend is the Huda Beauty Bomb Brows. I seriously don't know how I would cope if I didn't have this outline of um, the microblading because I, I think I'd have to resort to stamped brows. I'm scared I'm going to run out halfway through this. For lipsticks, I can't go past Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks, whether they are in special packaging or just her standard line. I really prefer the kissing formula. And today, I might wear Sweet Blossom. I love these lipsticks the fact that they come in refillable cases because they're such gorgeous 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 packaging lip glosses my favorite lip glosses at Sephora have to be the Fenty gloss bombs and I might just go in with baby brute which was one of the shades in the Christmas collection And just to soften that shade down a little bit not that I needed a gloss with the beautiful finish of the kissing formula from Charlotte Tilbury okay that leaves the eyes okay my go-to primer for my eyes of late has been the NARS soft matte concealer the color i have is in light three honey and i just like using that it's so easy beautiful on the eyes very mature skin friendly i actually should get a deeper shade and try it for my discoloration on my face actually and I will just set that with the same setting powder I used under my eyes. I just love this powder. It's so light and airy and does the job. I did recommend several eyeshadow palettes in my recommendations video. And I'm going to go in with my Patrick Tar. My Patrick Tar palette. I'm going to go in with the shade here, which is... 
I hate these when they do this. Transition. Because it's going to be my transition shade. Okay, so Morphe M504 brush. And just... I do need to get some more Sephora collection eye brushes but I must admit when they're sales I tend to go for the more expensive face brushes and I'm just really roughly going in the outer topper hood area of my eye and just blending that window shield wiper actions little circular seriously just throwing that on going to go in with the refer number 12 brush and I'm going to go straight in with the dark shade here which is Scandal And I'm going to just build that into the outer corner, lifting my eye to shade that in. Okay, so I'm lifting that and I'm doing little circular motions I'm going to go back in with our blending brush and blend that into the transition now I'm using press on nails at the moment because my nails are actually going black from the chemo and I'm hoping they're not going to fall out apparently if they go too black it's the start of them falling off. I really don't want that. So just to cover up that darkness, I've started wearing press-on nails. It's been something I've really enjoyed in the last couple of weeks. It's sort of helped me to feel a little bit feminine again because I haven't been taking the time to wear makeup maybe I just need to but I must admit I don't get up in the morning with lots of enthusiastic um, energy I get up in the morning and it's just enough to have a cuppa and some toast and grab some clothes which takes me about half an hour at the moment because I haven't got much that fits me and I put things on and I pull things off and I'm like a toddler having a tantrum in the mornings at the moment and end up with clothes all over the floor but hopefully I can address that soon when I finish all the steroids okay so just taking that shade and running it under but because there's no lashes it's not showing up much so I'm going to take an eyeliner I'm going to take the, the one size beauty busty brown eyeliner perfect and I'm going to smudge that in the My under eye and then go back with that brush <laughs> go back with the that brush and smudge the eyeliner with the powder hopefully to give myself a lash line effect it's a little bit better awesome okay i'm going to now take a sephora blending brush number 27 
and I'm just going to take this shade two three and it's called a mother and I'm just going to it's a warmer brown and I'm just going to add that from halfway into that dark Keeping only what's on that brush, I'm going to take it into the crease and I'm heading it towards the natural shadow in my eye. And I'm just using what's on the brush without dipping back in because I don't want it too heavy I just want to add some of that colour in that crease area going back in with our shader brush that we use for the outer colour no extra colour and I'm just blending all of that in I just might take my sponge and just swoop that upwards. Our first blending brush with our transition and then just buffing that. And I'm just going an outward circular motions just to blend that and rather than use any shimmer shades in that palette I'm going to go in with my Tom Ford quad nude dip and I'm going to go for this shade in the top corner here with my finger Just apply that in the inner corner. Beautiful. Going back to our Busty Brown eyeliner, I'm going to smudge that and try and create a lash line here as well. I truly, truly am missing my lashes. Okay, I'm just going to pop off camera and pop some lashes on. I'm going to be using these ones that I got from Shein. They're quite dramatic, I think, but I think I need them. Okay, guys, so I have added eyelashes and I did add a little flick of the Tom Ford eye defining pen because I've got no lashes to stick false eyelashes to it it looks not right so I've just added a fine line of the liquid liner along the lash line to just to try and make it look a little bit more natural I then finished off with some Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Setting Spray just to help with that dehydration look to my skin. It has helped a little bit. I'm not sure how much of a fan I am of setting sprays but uh, I thought I would try that today to see if it would just help with that dehydrated look. So that was a get ready with me using some of the items that I did recommend in my Sephora sale recommendations video. I do hope you enjoyed that and uh, got to enjoy some of the items that I really really like and uh, just do recommend buying when you are able to get them on a sale. They're my go-tos and I know a lot of them are repeats of what you keep hearing from me what I like but 
that is what I am interested in and are the items that I really enjoy, want to repurchase, really want to highly recommend. And I would love to have a curated makeup collection of things that I just love and adore and just want to keep reaching for, which is why I move things on when they don't work. And I think for someone who does buy a lot of makeup to review on YouTube, I don't do as much as a lot of other people, but because um, I only do purchase the items that I really, really enjoy and love myself. So I... I just want to keep going back to those holy grails that I really, really like. And I am always on the search of some other items. Like I'm always on the search for the holy grail foundation, concealer, those sorts of things. But when it comes to blushes and things like that, I tend to... I've got to get through what I've got. So <laughs> try to peer down what I do there. My downfall are my eyeshadow palettes because I really enjoy playing with eyeshadows. So I do hope you enjoyed that guys. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I would truly appreciate it. Um, getting back to a little bit of what my channel is all about and I do hope you've had a beautiful and a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. See you later, guys. Bye.